Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, first and foremost, may I take this opportunity to thank the, the mover of the motion who brought this critical motion to the House. The issue we are discussing here is extremely, extremely, extremely timely. Right now, as we speak, people are, have been moved from their houses and become IDBs in their own country. Roads are blocked. In the 21st century, right now, vehicles from Nairobi cannot reach Mandera, cannot reach Wajia, cannot reach Dadaab and Ijara. It's extremely very unfortunate. And you know, that, that's why we have been saying that this region is marginalized for some time. And we thought we will be out of this problem once maybe uh, leaders like His Excellency William Samoy Arapruto now takes the leadership. We expected this to start immediately after apostolates takes over power. It's unfortunate that now our people might starve to death. Vehicles are stuck. As I speak right now, a bag of, of sugar today is going at 10,000 shillings in Madeira town. The few that have the stock. Most of them don't have stock. In fact, shops are closing. Those few that were coming from the other side of Ethiopia and Somalia, all of them are also suffering the same thing. There are no roads. Now, students doing examination is a problem. We are calling upon the government to call this, you know, and declare this as a national disaster so that we can get help. Even planes cannot land in Madeira right now because of, you know, the magnitude of, of, of the rain that is there. I think for almost five days, no plane landed in Madeira. The situation is dire. We don't want the government to move and bury when, when deaths occur. It is the high time now for the leadership of this country to move very fast, get planes that can carry tons and tons of food. Those who drop food, I think those, uh, there, are, there are planes in the UN and other uh, uh, well-wishers that can have those kind of cargo planes that can drop food all over. Because they, most likely planes cannot land. It's unfortunate that we are discussing this kind of thing in the 21st century. You know, once the president declares this as a national disaster, donors from all over the world will move in and our people will get help. We also need the government to take people out of these, you know, uh, risky places where floods come during the night while they're in a sleep. Take them to, you know, a higher places and, you know, treat them as IDBs. Once we do that, we'll be better off. In Mandera right now, Mandera is a headquarter of Mandera County. Unfortunately, for the last five days, there is no power at all. No one can be taken to ICU. There is no oxygen. You know, you can understand the risk. Once that happens, Mandera General Hospital right now as we speak, there is no power. The whole town is in darkness. The problem is not the way maybe our leadership are taking. The problem is extremely very big and dire. We need our leadership to move very fast and the president to come out clearly, declare this as a national disaster before it is too late. Thank you very much.